What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. Um, in, in today's video, I want us to talk about uh, this massive news that came out last week uh, with Tillit uh, uh, Docs um, actually merging with Livango uh, Virtual Health Companies uh, to create um, this massive um, virtual healthcare delivery system. So, uh, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And, and also, guys, I apologize. You probably see that uh, I'm not in the studio, so um, I'm actually on the road. So that's why you don't see uh, my full setup. So. Uh, I apologize. You can see a few videos like this uh, as I'm, I, I'm doing some trips. Uh, but when I get back to the studio, we're going to get back right on track. So, um, again, this is the news that came out last week. Um, it, it, which, I mean, if you don't know about these two companies, it, it, again, in the virtual uh, health uh, healthcare space, uh, Teledux is massive. It, I mean, like they, they occupy that space. Um, so let's take a look at Teledux as a company, just so you understand their perspective. So take everything that you do at a hospital, uh, where you go in, you talk to a doctor, you talk to a nurse, and they do all the other little things that they do uh, with a physical uh, um, uh, interaction, convert that into the virtual space. So you get on your computer, um, you're talking to a doctor, um, across maybe sitting somewhere in California or somewhere in New York. Uh, I mean, just all over the place. You don't know exactly where the doctors are located, but they can uh, diagnose uh, and talk to you and provide some treatment. So, so Teledocs has been leading that space. So they, they provide pretty much um, everyday care. You know, your primary care, uh, 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 physician work, they provide that. Uh, children and family care, they provide that. Uh, mental health uh uh, medical experts that can come in, uh, certified board certified experts that you can talk to um, that have the knowledge uh, that can help you and they provide well wellness and also some kind of a, a pre a preventive uh, ways for people to manage their their health. So the telehealth uses a lot of AI um, to kind of uh, you know predict or even help doctors uh, uh, give a prescription to their clients. So they have been exploding. Um, uh, even this whole COVID thing didn't impact them as much as um, other companies. Um, again, guys, as we shift uh, from you know being able to go into the hospital uh, in, in a physical form into this virtual space, you're gonna see companies like this really to gr begin to grow even more than they are doing right now, which is awesome. So Tele Docs is the, like the really really leader in that space. Now comes in uh, Livango. So, so Livango is another one that uh, it's a virtual health uh, healthcare company, but they have a specific niche. They help people with chronic diseases. They help people manage um, and cope with their chronic diseases. So, um, again, if you take it from a perspective of healthcare, I would say Livango is a subset of Teledocs because they have that specific niche. And so they use the same thing. They use uh, a lot of uh, AI to be able to help patients uh, manage their conditions and provide them with uh, ways to navigate um, and uh, at least live comfortable lives. Just because somebody has a condition doesn't mean that they have to suffer a certain way. So uh, Livango comes in and, and gives them all the necessary tools that they need to be able to live uh, comfortable life. So those are the two companies. I just want to give you guys uh, those backgrounds. So now uh, the the merger is Teledocs and Livongo coming together. So you're taking two massive companies, combining them. In my opinion, creating something even even bigger that that we don't know. So I want us to talk a little bit about the benefit of uh, of this. And then we're going to jump into uh, their presentation for the merger and see some of the some of the things that are, are anticipate happening and when this merger is going to close. So we're going to talk a, a little bit about that. But um, again, guys, this is a merger between uh, two companies that already do excel in the virtual healthcare space, like like I, I mentioned earlier. So 
Um, this it's not like one was struggling and the other one is coming to bail them out. So they're just merging to form even so more of a giant in that space. And so I'm I'm personally super excited about um, this merger because when you combine these two companies, um, it's giving you even more so information from a data standpoint, from an AI standpoint, um, bringing in uh, more uh, uh, knowledge across the board. So Teledocs is going to expand Livongo um, user base or membership base because there's probably people on Teledocs that didn't really know about uh, Livongo or people that are on Teledocs that uh, they can actually now recommend Livongo. Like, hey, if this is what you're struggling with, this is another platform that we have that can actually manage your condition and give you, uh, you know, the comfort to live uh, comfortably with that particular condition. So um, I think those are, those are, again, to me, those are the things that I see as benefit. It, it, one of the things that you have to look at is that this this deal uh, would not only strengthen the global presence of Teledocs, but it would also increase its membership uh, in the high growth Medi uh, Medicaid and uh, uh, Medicaid uh, market. So people coming from Livongo, uh, we're going to jump on, on Teledocs now, and that would really, again, increase um, their membership, which is which is good. So, so combining Teledocs uh, health will also give Livongo access to a platform through which it will be able to reach untapped population. So there's people, like I said, there's people on, on Teledocs that don't know that Livongo does exist. So now these people are going to be, be exposed um, and give, give, given that opportunity to be able to use Livongo. Um, again, we know there's a lot of people with chronic conditions. So that is uh, uh, what we're going to talk about. So now let's, let's jump into the actual presentation here um, that they, they actually uh, put together for the merger. So um, as of August 5th, that is, that's when this whole thing went down. So um, key merger consideration. So again, if you look at it right here, so the, the transaction is valuing Livongo at approximately $18.5 billion. I mean, like this is, that's huge. Um, and then after the merger or, or when the merger goes through, um, what you're going to get as far as the, the, the share price, it would be so you get um, 0 0.592 um, times the share of uh, uh, Teledocs at, that, at the time when the merger completes and then plus $11.33 per share of Livongo. So let's do let's do the math here real quick. So let's if we go um it's on Yahoo right now as of close of day I think they are Friday um Teledocs was actually trading at $193.72, right? So if you take $192.72, let, let me bring up my calculator here. So we can actually do the math here. So a hundred and ninety-three dollars and seventy-two cents. Um, so what we want to do is we want to multiply that by this amount right here. So multiply that. So multiply that by uh, 0.592. Um, that would give you that value um, right there. So now uh, for every share of Livongo, you want to add. Um, eleven dollars, eleven point three three dollars. So you get a hundred and twenty six uh, dollars worth of uh, um, a share of the combined company. So that's the way it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna play out. So um, so for every for every share of um, uh, Livongo that you own, let's say at that price, um, everything that at the end of the day you end up with one hundred and twenty six dollars. So um, uh, Teledoc shareholders will own 58% of the combined company and Livongo shareholders will own 43% of the combined company. Um, management board, I'm not going to go into the details. And then one important uh, information here is the closing date. So this deal is expected to uh, close by the end of um, Q4 2020. Uh, again, it's subject to shareholder approval. Um, which is, I, I'm pretty sure, in my in my opinion, it's it's a done deal already. So, uh, again, details about the uh, compelling uh, strategic uh, rationale for making the move 
um, why did they think this is significant? I'm going to, I'm going to put this, if you want, uh, you can request, I'll put a link to, uh, this presentation in the description below. You can actually go spend some time and actually read the details, um, of the transaction and how you see, um, if it works out for you. So again, this is just kind of a breakdown of both companies. Um, so, uh, Tele, again, like, let's just go through this Teledocs leader in virtual health marketplace providing the most comprehensive virtual uh, care solution whereas Livongo is leading the virtual um, care provider focused mostly on managing chronic conditions so in my personal opinion again i see Livongo as a subset of teledocs which makes this merger excellent so it's not like they're coming with two conflicting uh, uh, businesses is already something that it's a marriage that was meant to be. So read the, uh, the details here and just kind of see uh, what each company is bringing um, uh, to the table and how that would benefit them and how it would allow them to actually to actually grow, which um, I think is something that you uh, again, spend some time to kind of read through it. So, um, more details about. I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna skip here because this is just details about um, the different products. Um, if you go down to their finances down here, um, you can see here um, revenue um, year to date, year revenue, gross margins. So details about the finances are here. You can actually read through it. Um, uh, one key thing that um, was actually mentioned um, is just the fact that right now their the approximate revenue for 2020 for the combined company would be about 1.3 billion dollars. Guys, this is this is this is great. This is a massive, massive company, um, and so I'm super excited about this one. So again, guys, you're probably sitting there and say, "Yes, Mr. V, you've talked about this. This is great. What does that mean for us as investors?" So my personal opinion, again, this is my personal opinion. Um, this is a company that has huge potential. So let's go take a look at, at, at just the two companies as individual companies before this uh, merger actually took place. So. Look at Teledocs um, uh, right here. Let's just go to 2020. So if you look at Teledocs right here, um, this is the, uh, let's see, March. So if you look at March, this is where we had that crash. Look at the stock. It didn't drop that much. So before, prior to that, it went from a high of 146 and dropped down to 116. That's the most it dropped. From there, it has already keep squeezing up some pullbacks but it's just been moving up and up and up, which is good. Um, so now uh, let's take a look at Livongo. So the ticker symbol for Livongo is L LVGO. So let's bring that up. Um, again, look at Livongo. So if you go back in March when we had that crash, look at where Livongo was at. See, $25. So in March, around March uh, 20, when we had a serious crash, this is it. It was down to 21. From there, look at this stock. So if you had bought Livongo in March, this is how much you would have made. One of my good friends, um, uh, Kevin Foy, actually, you know, pointed me to this because he works in healthcare. So when this stock was up to, I think about $90, he pointed this to me and told me this thing is the future of healthcare. So thanks for, thanks for that info, Kevin. I really appreciate it. But guys, uh, to me, I think this is an opportunity to jump in and buy this stock. Um, there is there's a tremendous amount of potential because we're moving more into the virtual space. Who who knows how long this COVID thing is going to be around for? And even after that, uh, life is not going to be the same because if you live in a rural area, why would you want to drive three or four hours to go see a specialist? Why you can just, uh, you have internet, you can just call them and they'll talk to you. And unless it's really, really needed before you can drive to them. That's just my personal take. Um, so my recommendation, I think this is a, a this is a buy. Um, and I definitely would pick up some shares um, um, immediately after the merger. Or I can pick up some shares because um, after the merger, because this is the thing, after the merger, you would be buying a little bit at a cheaper price if the if if the price of uh, of Teledocs keeps dropping. But if the price of Teledocs keeps going up, um, then that might not come out. You might not come out on top, in in my opinion. So I'll wait 
to buy immediately after the merger, but you have to set your alarm and so that as soon as it starts trading on the, 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 the new company, you should be able to jump in and buy. So question of the day, guys, what do you think about this merger? Do you think this is so crazy? Um, two big companies coming together is not good. Uh, it's monopoly or you think, Mr. V, this is a great investment opportunity. The, the future of healthcare is virtual and I don't want to miss out on it. Let me know in the comment section. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to start investing, uh, right now we currently recommend Weibo and Weibo is doing a promotion where you get two free stocks. Um, the first one is between two to about $250 just for signing up. And then the second one is uh, between twelve and $1,400 just for depositing $100. So definitely take advantage of that opportunity. And as always guys, Stay motivated.